breakfast this morning is my overnight oats. I tweaked it even more. Now it's only two points. Um, it has oatmeal in it um, for a third of a cup is one point. And then I use skim milk for a half a cup and that is one point. And then I have um, uh, fruit over the top, strawberries and peaches and mango. And then I have in it is two tablespoons of non-fat Greek yogurt, a tablespoon of sugar-free Jello, the banana cream, and a half a half a tablespoon of sugar-free syrup. So um, this again is two points for this. And then I am on my second cup of coffee. Um, sugar-free French vanilla creamer for a zero points so um, I just want to show you what was for breakfast it is 28 degrees out and sunshiny there's Miss Callie so no special plans for today um, I am planning on <laughs> I have laundry to do um, this afternoon um, some sewing and stuff but other than that not too much planned to do and um, hmm, I don't know what to talk about to say right now so but anyways I'm going to let you go I just want to show you what was for breakfast and I hope that your Wednesday I had to stop and think what day it was will be a great one friends thanks again happy Wednesday how are you it is after four I'm just setting down I got laundry in the clothes dryer I have a Super Bowl mystery sew along quilt along that starts Sunday I'm doing a 42 inch by 42 inch and I just finished cutting all the fabrics for that had to make a substitution for the one border because there wasn't enough of the other and um other than that, haven't been doing too much. It got up to, it got into the high 40s. I don't know if we hit 50. I know tomorrow rain's coming in and we're supposed to be near 60. It's supposed to be like 57. So I just had um, a little thing of pretzels. Um, I didn't take a picture because I just thought about it. <laughs> I hope you all realize that I, I'm not on purpose not showing you foods. I just forget. It's like I'm, I'm going to be 66 years old this June and I just get busy doing my crafts or whatever. And then I sit down to eat and I am watching TV and eating and then realize, oh darn. <laughs> but the pretzels, I only had, um, I want to say like, 10 of them if that so you you will see it on my tracker I'll take a picture of the bag so you can at least see it um, but other than that not for sure what supper is going to be today Mr. Jerry's been working um, refinishing a another um, I don't know if you call them um, blanket chest they're big old wood chest I don't know why he has a fascination with them, but I'm telling you, the front room is getting full of his machinist um, tool chest that he's been redoing, and he's going to go to an auction tomorrow, and it's like, oh, my Lanta. <laughs> but um, as far as yesterday went with the Burger King, um, we did have the Burger King. I did track it. I'm telling you it wasn't worth it it tasted okay I'm not gonna lie it did taste okay but we don't usually eat that and we both end up, ended up having so much indigestion from it it wasn't funny so it wasn't worth it but sometimes we just need that reminder don't we <laughs> I'm telling you so um 
but uh, right now I am working on a Landon second sock. I just uh, I got the cuff done. I'm just starting the leg. Um, I'm like 5, 10, 15 rows into, into it. Um, this is the colorway right here. So, and it's self-striping. There are eight stripes. So, my eye itches today. So, I've been working on that. Um, I did start my February shelf um, cross-stitch. Uh, and it is Hearts in a Jar. It is a canning jar series. So, I did start that yesterday. And, um, just a second. Mr. Jerry's coming in. Okay, I'm back. Um... And, and when I look at my thermometer, it's 51 degrees outside. Um, the sun has gone away. <laughs> it was out this morning. But as far as yesterday goes, um, I don't regret what we did. I regretted it several hours later because I didn't feel good about it. Because <clears throat> I was uncomfortable. But, you know, I got to thinking. One of um, my friends on here made the remark about that basically the yo-yo will stop once you get your head in it is the way I took it. Um, and I thought to myself, well, my head is in it. But I guess if my head, my head and my heart was 100% in it, nothing would stand in my way, would it? Um, I would be saying that this is what needs to be done. And... Um, I would make better choices if we went out to eat. Um, I would want to, um, I don't know, there, there'd be better things. And, um, <clears throat> but I also know that once you've been on this for a long time, that goes away mentally. Anyways, for me, because I've been doing this for on and off all my life, but steadily for the last six, seven years. And, you know, I lost the 63 pounds, and then I put it all back on, except for, I think, 20 of it, and now I've taken off 30-some of it again. And that yo-yo's there. And I think it's just because I've been doing it for so long that when I say that my... Um, Weight Watcher Leader says that I'm in maintenance mode. That's basically what I'm doing. I am saying that my body's happy where it's at, and I'm in maintenance mode. And that's why I am, you know, I could lose a couple times in a row and then gain and then lose a couple times. So I just need to get back into the mindset that I'm not at maintenance yet. <laughs> And I need to take better control of my food and my portions. And um, I had that realization. I've had this a couple of times before. But Mr. Jerry um, makes our meals. He has for a long, long time. And he weighs stuff out. And I see him with my Weight Watcher scale. And he measures everything out. But the other night we had spaghetti. And when we do our spaghetti, we um, fry up the um, ground beef and then add, you know, the spaghetti sauce to it. And when the spaghetti is done, then we dump it into that meat mixture and then divide it up amongst the plates. Well, I noticed the other night when he went to, because I said, well, maybe we should just weigh it out. And I should have taken a stronger hold on it, but I didn't. Um, number one, he was in a mood because he was hurting. He didn't feel good. Um, and he said, no, he says, I measured everything out and it's equally divided. Well, I'm going to tell you, it was not equally divided. Um, I said to him later, I said, well, you must not had hardly any of the meat. I said, because I only had like two forks, spin forks and not, uh, not big of um spaghetti he says well you yes you did I, I i saw the spaghetti i said when i moved the meat away there was not much spaghetti there what you saw was all i had i had more meat than i had pasta 
I said, you must have had a lot of pasta and hardly any meat. And he didn't say anything. I could visually tell when he divided it up that he had more than I did. And when he does that, I, I usually don't say boo at it because, number one, I don't need extra. But if I'm taking my points, I want what my points say I should get. So I adjusted my points to reflect it. And I said to him, I said, what I said, what I need to do the next time that we do goulash or we do spaghetti, anything with pasta like that, I need to weigh it out in in a in a dish. That's what I need to do. I need to see how much is in it and then subtract half of it. That way I know I'm getting my portion and not getting more or not getting less. So I'm going to have to start doing that um, because basically I control my portion for breakfast, for lunch, and supper. If we have pasta or anything, we usually just eyeball it and divide it up. Good, bad, or ugly, I don't know. How do you do it when there's others like that? I know it's a pain in, in the Watusi to do that, but if I am being charged <laughs> six points for two ounces of spaghetti, I want two ounces of spaghetti. If I'm being charged three to four points for three ounces of meat, I want that. If I'm being charged three points for the sauce, I want that, <laughs> you know, because, you know, points are points. And I don't know why I got this tangent. I, I don't know. I think it's because it's been weighing on my mind, the up and down, the up and down. And I'm not trying to let it weigh heavily on my mind because that's where a person like me with anxiety can let it really get to, get to me. And I don't want to want it to get to me. And so I am doing the best that I can do with what I have. I agree that maybe Maybe my head um, isn't in it like it needs to be, but anyways, I'm going to let you go. I got to go delete some stuff off my phone in the trash because it just shut off. <laughs> that means that the story just got too much from all these videos. So, But I'm going to let you go. I'm going to talk to you later. I hope that your Wednesday was a great one and your Thursday will be even a better one. Thanks for all the comments, everybody. I appreciate each and every one of you. And welcome to all the new um, friends who have subscribed. Thank you for um, joining me, whether you're here for the crafts that I'm doing or a weight loss journey. I appreciate each and every one of you. And I will talk to you all later. Mm -hmm.